I've gone through quite a few different kind of color palettes, but I'm always drawn back to anything that is in your face. Like there's nothing muted and soft. I, I like, I like making people stop and want to look again. What I find the harder I work, the more I dedicate to this, the luckier I get. Which it's not really luck; it's hard work. Taking chances like how I came in here, just came in and introduced myself because I was scared to death to do that. And it's taken me a few years to even get that kind of nerve up. Quite a few years. So um, you just gotta gotta step outside yourself because you know, full of fear all the time. In fact, that kept me back from this. I'm not sure when I felt like this was going to be what I wanted to do. Long ago, something happened and if I knew then I would have uh, probably jumped over some of the hurdles I've had earlier but when I was very young my sister and I were giving, given paint by number sets do you remember those paint by number sets so you you get your pretty little seascape which she got and I got two cats um, close-up pictures of cats faces and I must have been about eight and my sister was nine so we sat down to do them. You know, you have to fill in the color with the corresponding little number, the right thing, make it look beautiful. My sisters looked just like the box, perfect in every way. So my father hung hers in the living room and she got praised. I started my cats and within 10 minutes, I was very bored of doing what they told me to do. That color goes there, fill in that. I started to make it up myself way outside the lines, crazy looking cats at the end of it. I thought they were great. But my father said, oh, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to stay in the lines and use the colors they tell you. Mine got hung in the bathroom. So, <laughs> um, but to me, that showed early on, I was not going to be told to stay in the lines and do those colors. Because my work now is very expressionistic. and. I like to focus my detail, my fine work around the eyes. If it's a portrait or a pelican or sea turtle, the rest of it is very much wild, crazy, fun, expressive work. Nadine Ganella has a rare use of mixed media, especially with a combination of oil and beeswax. What you get is a really unique texture and a color that really pops out brilliantly. Let's see, I was 27 when I decided I hated doing receptionist waitressing. I was just trying everything. I didn't really care for any of it. And I thought, I love painting, drawing. I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if I can really do this. And applied to the OCAD University and got in. And I worked so hard. I just worked through lunch. I worked through all the breaks. I worked at night. I when I say work, I painted. I just was absorbing everything I could. I took every fine art, fine painting class. Um, there was life drawing, life painting. A lot of my co-students were out partying because, you know, that's what you do in university. And I was in the studio painting, um, at my apartment painting. I just dedicated everything to it. And I went and found as many competitions to enter any kind of student exhibitions, anything that was going on, I would find out and enter. And I started to get a little bit of recognition that way. I started to win a few, um, win some scholarships, and get into some group shows. And that's, that fed me. So it kind of gave me that early on um, work ethic too that you really have to work. It just doesn't come. Nothing I've gotten to date has just landed in my lap. I've had to go pursue it, introduce myself to gallery owners, um, put my work in places that'll be seen. As sad as it is, it's all I do is paint and look after the kids and paint and look after the kids and then go to the gym as well. I have these thoughts of paintings constantly. I'm, I'm already on the next one when I'm still working on one. Kandinsky and 
Franz Marc. They use color, but not just color, the brushwork, the very energetic feeling of it. I know the Impressionistic were the same, but they were a little softer. I like the bolder colors, the more aggressive type combinations. And I've always been drawn to the turquoise Caribbean sea. Um, I love it. So something about that color combination of the blues, turquoises, greens with the beach, and then even the the hot, you know, red sand and or yellow sand, clay. Those that has been very appealing to me. I think then I found sort of this copper leaf, which I love using because of the you know the way it can oxidize. The same kind of colors come out. So turquoise would be probably my favorite color.